One sat perched on top of a tree and observed the surroundings. It suddenly discovered a peach orchard on the other side of the river. It craved it so much, it had to swallow its saliva, because seeing the sweet fruit made it crave it. And quat, if only we could get there, and quat, he whispered. But how can we cross the river? At that time, he noticed that next to the peach garden there was a lush sugar cane field. And quat, I found a way and quat, he happily climbed down to find his friend, the camel. Dude, wherever I go I think of you. I have found a sugar cane field that will be of great help to you, the monkey said to the camel. Where? the camel asked hungrily. You have to wade across the river, then turn right, then go straight, then turn left, and you will see the field on the right. I can never remember all that camel retorted. Would you please take me there? But I, in number 39, am very pleased the monkey agreed immediately. But I can, in number 39, T cross the river, I don, in number 39, T know how to swim. It and number 39, S okay, I know how to swim the camel said. I will carry you on my back to the other shore. So the monkey climbed onto the camel and number 39, S back, sat comfortably between the two humps, and the camel swam across the river. When he reached the sugar cane field, the monkey said to his companion, While you are here, I will keep watch over there, at the peach orchard, from there you can see in all directions. I am number 39, am afraid the sugar cane keeper will suddenly see you. You are very kind, the camel said. I don and number 39, T know how to repay your kindness. The camel immediately munched sugar cane, and the monkey immediately rushed to the peach garden. He immediately climbed up the first peach tree and grabbed the peaches, stuffing them one after another into his mouth. Peaches are so sweet, peaches are so fragrant. Peach juice was delicious, flowing down its chin. When he had eaten his fill, he returned to the sugarcane fields. The camels continued to chew sugarcane. We have to go home now, said, annoyed at having to wait. Wait a moment, the camel acts. I am number 39, D rather go now, the monkey tried to say. I am number 39, M going, I am number 39, M going, be patient, the camel groaned. Dude, if you don and number 39, T go now, I and number 39, LL call the watchman, the monkey threatened, annoyed at having to wait. Don and number 39, T do that, I beg you, he will beat me. The camel panicked. But I kept calling. The monkey said aggressively, then he screamed loudly, you and number 39, Re the one holding the sugar cane, come quickly. There is a camel that eats sugar cane. If you don and number 39, T come, it will clean up the sugar cane fields. Are you crazy or something? Camel acts. The monkey ran straight to the river, continuing to call the sugar cane keeper. This person was sleeping soundly heard the screams, ran out of the tent, grabbed a big stick, ran towards him, and beat the camel and number 39's back. He ran with his legs up to the river bank. The monkey hid in a bush and waited there. Seeing the beaten camel running towards it, it complained, Poor you, why Don and number 39, T you listen to me. If he had left the sugar canes alone, perhaps he would have been spared the beating. It and number 39, s your fault, why did you call the sugar cane keeper? The camel blamed. Should I call the sugar cane keeper? 
The monkey was surprised because he was a genuine actor. If not you, then who called? This time the camel was really angry. You believe so, but I assure you that I never called monkey still insisted. You didn't and hash 39. T call, and I was in and hash 39. T beaten. I was just dreaming the camel announced to end the argument. Monkey scratched his head for a moment and then said boldly, Believe me, maybe it and number 39. It's true that I called. Sometimes I get nervous so I don and number 39. T know why I scream. It and number 39. S an illness, I can and number 39. T help it. Okay, Don and number 39. T talk about that anymore the camel said. Climb on my back, let and number 39. S go back. The monkey immediately climbed onto the camel and number 39. S back, sitting comfortably between two humps. The camel waded into the water. When they reached the middle of the river, the camel suddenly shouted loudly, I and number 39. Am about to dive into the water. I and number 39. Am about to dive into the water. How are you, buddy? As for me, what will happen to me? That and number 39. S because sometimes I get nervous, so I don and number 39. T know why I do that. It and number 39. S an illness, I can and number 39. T do anything about it, the camel said and dived into the water. I will drown. Am I drowning? The monkey screamed as it fell into the water. Fortunately, the river was not very deep. It drowned, but escaped death. It has learned an experience worthy of its cruelty and ungratefulness. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.